greetings and salutations. Johnny Mac from Lock and Metal Plus here. And if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. If you're not new, you can like it, share it with your buds. That'd be smart. Thank you. So we got uh, another review here for um, what I believe people are calling blackened thrash metal, blackened death metal, blackened. I know speed metal. Bottom line is, if two of your favourite albums of all time happen to be either Metallica, Kill 'Em All, or and Ben and Black Metal, or if more recently some of your favourite bands happen to be Vampire, or the wonderfulness that is Hell Leper, and chances are you are going to like this band, and we are talking about The Witcher. Oh yes, look at that beautiful cover. Let's take this out of the sleeve. Let's do the unsleevey thing. Now this is beautiful because it's not shiny, it's uh, it's not fingerprinty. Look at that cover. That cover is bloody um, That cover. Really cool job. And that back cover basically is what the uh, intro track Ash sounds like it sounds like uh, almost like a weird westerny type thing, um, but very cool. Um, well, with this, um, we got a cool hand picture. Look at that, dudes! Aren't they worth a Some Linux, uh, shit, we even got a poster with it. Uh, it's a you can see it's just a plain old black vinyl, but really cool. So, yeah, as I said, uh, Bewitcher. The American band, I believe. It's a big place. I can't remember where they come from. Uh, some place in America, I'm sure they'll tell me. Because obviously, you know, everybody watching this channel, my kids. Um, yeah, so. Um, I think this is the first album on Century Media. I think they've done about three albums, and very much influenced by, um, as I said, new wave of British heavy metal, um, some good old-fashioned thrash bands, um, but that kind of music. So yeah, it's very, very cool, very cool. Um, there's some. Some of the stuff like Death of the Turns, Satanic Magic Attack is awesome. Um, Mr. Fire, White Knight City almost reminds me of like a Scorpions type sort of from the from the heyday type thing. It's just proper sing along. Um, I think it was Electric Phantoms when that came on. It, it just reminded me of New New Album bands. God, New Album. Uh, it just reminds me of um, almost like Saxon Lifts or Tags of Pantang that kind of thing. Very cool. It, it's a sort of album. As an old dude, I listened to this and it just made me smile because when I first got into rock and metal, um, it was talking sort of 1980, 79, 80 sort of thing. So it was for me from the United Kingdom, it was new wave of British heavy metal being British. So yeah, um, I just grew up with this sort of sounding stuff because Be Thy Kingdom. Valley of the Ravens, Metal Burner, Widow's Blade, Sample, they, they're just all brilliant. Um, it's pointless in picking out individual songs because they all sound absolutely stunning. Um, as I said, if, if you liked the fall of it, but that some of the bands have mentioned, then you're just going to love this album. I believe they've got two others, which I might have to get hold of. Um, I pre-ordered this, um, which actually had um, a CD with it as well. Same album, but just a CD copy of it. Um, and I ordered the bundle with the T-shirt. So, yeah, excellent stuff. Now, while we're at it, there's another band, which are also we just had an album come out. Um, they're actually a British band, um, and they're also people say they're black and thrash. Uh, some people just call them a UK uh, black metal band, but I, I find they're a lot closer to, 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 to the, the black and thrash sound uh, and that's Wode. Let's get this out of the packet because it's, it's a 
wonderful cover as well. Look at that. Hopefully you can see the artwork of the light is good enough. Front and back. Uh, there's no band picture actually there. So let's see if we get one in here. Oh yeah we do, there we go. Band pick. Um, songs and stuff. Uh, by the way, the Bewitched album is called Cursed Be Thy Kingdom. <laughs> Keep forgetting to say the names of them. Not, you know. I'll put it in the title, obviously, and all the sort of gubbins that goes with it. Um, this Woad album is Burning Many Mirrors, and I've got to show you the vinyl because it's beautiful. It's very sexy. Look at that. That's the B side, and the A side is. Ooh, wonderful, wonderful. Um, this is what six tracks, I think. And, uh, the set, uh, third track on the second side, like three parts, uh, and th that starts off sounding very John Carpenter this um, 16 bit video game typey, which is oh, oh, totally up my street. But yeah, no, uh, Woad, as I said, apparently they've got a. Um, the dudes of of also from a uh, they've got a, a thrash band, so that's why this is more um, it's, it's more black and thrash or black and death metal or black and speed metal, whatever you want to call it, because they've got a uh, different band that uh, it's more guitar oriented, just not just the uh, tremolo picking that you usually get in the in the death metal bands. And if I'm honest, will remind me a lot of this band. Danny Filth and the dudes, uh, Cladler Filth. Uh, this this is the Dusk and Dice second album. So uh, it reminds me a bit of uh, quite a bit of Cladler Filth, but with death metal vocals, not the Danny Filth vocals, which uh, some people love. Some people like, I think they're cracking. I like him. Uh, I've seen him live, got about eight albums by him, uh, and I think they're really good. But I know a lot of people don't. don't they have a problem with the band, but they don't like Danny Filth's vocals, so possibly Woad might be the band for you. I don't know. But I said that I think from Manchester, which is quite close to me because I'm in North Wales. So yeah, um, I fully recommend both of them. Um, if, if you like sort of good thrashy sounding, as I said, said the, the Bewitcher ones, almost like classic. You can almost say bits of I Made and Judas Priest in there. It's just classic heavy metal. It, it's it's just great spot on so there you go that'll do me uh and i'll catch you guys later see ya